Okay, my dears, good evening and welcome again. This, well, today is, hey, wait, what day is today, guys? What day is today? Today is Monday, teacher. Monday what? Monday 76. Okay, Monday 27? Because 70 20. is 10. <laughs> I'm sorry, Juela. Oh, no. <laughs> That's my, my goodness. No way. No, no. I'm kidding. Okay. But I'm who, so sorry. Hey, but when, when we want to talk about when we want to talk about date, so there is an order, guys. Hey, eh? mm -hmm. there is an order. Look at look at my example. September, Monday, 26th and 2022 there is an order so el mes the month is first the second is the day the third one is the date and the last one is the year so year. i ask you again what day is today esta es una pregunta de nivel 1 nivel 2 what day is today <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. today is september monday 26, 2022. Okay, 2022 or 2022. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. my dears. Thank you so much, Roberto. So, hello, You're guys. Right. I'm so happy to have you. Hey, me, acuérdense que a mí me encanta que hablen, okay? Acuérdense que a mí me encanta que hablen, así que, okay, I don't have any problem if you want to participate in class. Look at the topic for today. The topic is the use of wood lie to and let me see camila deras would you like to help me please turn on your audio camila tenés alguna idea cuando se utiliza el would lie to oops cami are you ready camila five four yes, excellent so camila how can i use would lie to how do you have any idea Oh, be honest, no teacher, mm. I don't have. And so, tendría que decir en inglés. Please, try it. Uh, I don't know. Simple, teacher, I, I don't have idea. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I don't explain in English. Okay, so, okay, try it, try it, please, try it. For example, teacher, we use would like to and, or oh, I use would like to, for example, yeah. Or, or give us a sentences, give us a sentences using would like to, if you want, yeah. Uh, I use would like, um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no worries, no worries, my dears. Any, yes, thank you, Sonia. You got an idea? Yes, teacher, I Tell have me. an idea. I and then, and then Noeli, you are going to be the second one. Okay, princess, thank you, go ahead. Okay, I, I use wo in a sentence in future. Exactly, perfect. In a sentences in future, no se preocupen que ahí tengo más detalles, solo quiero ver what is your level, quiero ver cuál es, su, cuál es su nivel en este tema. What is your level in this topic? Noeli, tell me please, tell me why and nothing but, okay. <laughs> How can I use would I to? Um, express ideas of wishes wow exactly when i'm expressing ideas or wishes volunteers teacher yo también quiero dar mi punto yes robert tell me tell me why <laughs> hey do you okay. like backstreet boys robert yes teacher i love backstreet boys okay but <laughs> yes. that's not the topic that's not the topic okay <laughs> okay uh <-huh. laughs> okay uh, i think that you uh, ask to question. Oh, For example, to give a permission, uh, maybe. Okay, okay. okay. Excellent. excellent. Thank you, Hector. Welcome. Thank you. Hector, if you want to participate in class, do it, okay? If you want to participate, Hector, excellent, do it. Excellent, Robert, thank you. Excellent, really nice. Hey, I got a message. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm happy, yeah, I'm, I'm always happy. Well, I'm happy when I'm teaching. I'm happy when, well, I'm happy when I'm teaching English and I'm happy when I'm eating, okay? So this is one of my two favorite uh, 
uh, activities, teaching and eating, teaching and eating. Maybe the third one is dancing, but the first one is teaching, the second is eating, but that's not the topic. So, yes, the use of would lie to, and look at the structure. Would like is loving to do something. This is one characteristic. This is one of the characteristics, but I got, look at, I look at my screen, guys. Look at my screen. So, would like is loving to do something. It's like a, when you enjoy something, okay? For example, I'm going to help you in order to, we would like to, we would like to, I would like to, and then you are going to give us the compliment. Prepárense porque me van a dar el complemento. And the last one, I would like to. Repito usted solito sin activar el, el micrófono. We would like to. I would like to. Jane would like to. They would like to. And again, I would like to. And look at the compliment. I got dinner, a pizza, to a restaurant, the film, London and to you. Hay algún hay alguna palabra? There is a word that you don't understand. Five, four, three. Teacher, what's the meaning of dinner? Teacher, what's the meaning of pizza? Teacher, what's the meaning of restaurant? The field. So, it is it clear, guys? All of them? Five. Todos ellos? Five, four. Clear. Yeah? Clear, teacher. Asorchata. Excellent. So. Yes. <laughs> we would like to. What could be the compliment? A nosotros nos gustaría. We would, we would like to go, have, make, see, talk, visit. Dinner. Have. Okay. Okay. Your partner said we would like to have dinner. The second. We would like to a pizza. Five. Four. Make. Ok, make. excelente. Mm. Miren, es una horita que vamos a estar juntos. Trata de aprovecharla. Teacher. Excelente. Aprovecha ya, ya solo nos quedan 50 minutos. El tiempo se va así. Aprovecha, aprovecha, ok. Excelente. I would like to. Teacher, in the Visit. second sentence is make or have. Ah, I, I, I'm, ok. It's your option. Yo hago lo que ustedes me dicen, de ahí chequeamos. But Sonia, you got a second option? Let's yes, go back. Make. Make okay. guys. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I would like to visit to a restaurant. Visit. Okay. I would like to visit the restaurant. Okay. Jane, I would like, like to, to go to see to like see the right. film. They would like to uh, Visit. Mm. Oh, visit? Mm -hmm. Be, uh, go? Okay. Go. I don't know. I confuse. You, con I confuse. you get confused. I... Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. I would like to go to oh. the restaurant. To a restaurant? Much better? I, I would like know, to go to a restaurant. See, it's very. I and would I would like, like to, to go visit to a restaurant. And I would like to visit London. Or they would London. like to. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one. I would like to to you. Talk to you. I would like to talk to you. It's like mm -hmm. a, I would like to have a I would like to have what? A synonym. Don't say it in Spanish. I would like to talk to you. It's like a, I would like to what? Fine. <inaudible> But yes, but say, say it in, in English. So, I would like to talk to you. Pero ¿cuál podría ser la otra forma para decir esa misma oración, pero siempre en inglés? Five. I Eight. would like to speak to you. I would like to speak. Ah, mm, me encanta. No. Señores, ¿cuál es la, diferente, la diferencia entre speak y talk? Si, la, si yo lo paso español, speak and talk es lo mismo, hablar. Mm -hmm. Pero, pero es, 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 la, es el misma, la misma traducción, pero la dinámica, la estructura, la, eh, ya la acción, esa es la palabra, ya la acción es diferente. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo es digo? Como conversar. Exacto, pero ¿cuál es cuál entonces? Speak es como que speak? yo puedo hablar algo. Eh, I, I am speak English. Yo puedo hablar oh. inglés, pero no, puedo, no es como que yo diga... I, I am top English. No, uh, no. Exacto, 
Exactamente. Mónica, te oí como que estuvieras allá en la piscina. <ríe> te oí bien. Yo creo que está, yo creo que allá en, el, allá en la playa en Tunco, creo que está, de ahí está recibiendo las clases. <ríe> Estoy en el micrófono de la cámara. Ah, vaya, excelente. Muy bien. Teacher, no entendí, eh, o, o no lo, o I didn't get it. ¿Eh? ¿Qué significa? Miren, miren, si potes, síganme. ¿Qué significa I didn't get it? Un sinónimo, un sinónimo, un sinónimo en inglés. I didn't get it. It means like a five, four, three, two. I don't understand. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Or I didn't understand. Thank you. Muy bien. Ahora volvemos a lo mismo. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre speak y en talk? La diferencia es bien simple. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I speak English. Simplemente yo hablo. Yo hablo un idioma. I speak English. I speak Spanish. Simplemente. Ok, yo hablo este idioma. Yo no estoy diciendo que yo ahorita estoy hablando, que lo hablé, que lo voy a hablar. No, yo hablo. I speak Spanish. I speak English. Pero cuando yo estoy teniendo una conversation, ese sinónimo quería que me dijeran. Traten mm. de seguirme. Cuando yo les pida sinónimos, trate de quebrarse la mente dándome un sinónimo siempre en inglés. Yo no estoy pidiendo traducciones. Pero si usted quiere, va. Pero trate para que, para que su cerebro vaya ahí eh, eh, improving. So. Talk, a synonym, talk is having a conversation. So, yo puedo, le, voy a cambiar, le voy a cambiar acá. I would, like, I would like to have a conversation. Pero la preposición cambia. Yo no voy a decir, me gustaría tener una conversación contigo. I would like to have a conversation to you. O, I would like to have a conversation with you. ¿Cuál es la correcta? Primero o la segunda. With You. Exactly. I would like to have a conversation in English. Ahí sí puedo aplicarlo. Hey, me gustaría tener una conversación contigo en inglés. I would like to have a conversation, a conversation, excuse me, in English with you. Entonces, esa es la diferencia. Speak, todos hablamos. Todos hablamos. Pero talk es la conversation. Ok, now we are going to check the answer and look at the scores. I would like to, Giselle, would you like to help me to read all the examples, please? Thank you. Okay, teacher. We would like to have dinner. We would like to make a pizza. I will like to go to a restaurant. Jane would like to see the film. They would like to visit London. I would like to talk to you. Could you, thank you, my dearest. Could you please ex, uh, give us a synonym of feel? I'm not asking for definition. I'm not asking in Spanish. Give us a synonym in English. Feel, five, four. Movie. Movie, exactly. So, Jane would like to see the movie. Ahora, el ejercicio que vamos a hacer es bien sencillo. Quiero que me dé un, un ejemplo utilizando el auxiliar would. Por ejemplo, en mi caso, yo le voy a dar un ejemplo. I would like to, I would like to go to Canada. Y deme una razón del por qué quiere usted eso. I would like to have a dinner, pero ¿por qué? I would like to buy, yo quiero comprar eso, pero ¿por qué? So, mi example, my example is, I would like to go. I would like. Y el verbo tiene que ser en infinitivo. No me vaya a decir, I would like buy, I would like cook, I would like dance. No, en infinitivo. I would like to cook, I would like to dance, I would like to play, I would like to travel, bla, bla, bla. Mi ejemplo es, I would like to visit. Lo voy a cambiar. I would like to visit Canada because my brother lives there. And I would like to visit my brother in Canada. Ok, les voy a dar 20 segundos. Prepáreme su would like to. Y prepáreme por qué quiere usted hacer esa acción. 20 segundos y comienzo en orden. Alessandra, tú serías la primera. 20 seconds.
don't forget to give us a reason why. What would, why would you like to blah, blah, blah? ¿Por qué te gustaría hacer esa acción? Yes. Tengo yes. Una, una última. Please, ¿Cómo tell me. Comprar, como digo, porque shopping son compras. Pero buy. comprar algo en específico. Buy. buy. I would like to buy a car. I would like to buy a new house. I would like to buy a, I would like to buy a book. I would like to buy a new cell phone. Okay? Oh, thank you. Okay, you're welcome, my dearest. Alessandra, if you're ready, let me know. Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Yes, it is. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. And then, and, uh, Berito, be ready because you are the second one. Okay, before to start, before to start with okay. Alessandra, don't, okay, nice. Don't forget the structure. No olviden la fórmula, la estructura. Sujeto, ¿quién es el sujeto? Me, teacher. I would like to, y el verbo en infinitivo, I would like to play, I would like, y el complemento, y deme una razón del por qué. Alessandra, give us your example. Okay, I would like to graduate of my career because I would like to teach English in the future. Perfect. No mistakes. Excellent. Berito, Camila Torres, be ready. I would like to learn English because there is a job and to travel country. Vamos a agregarle in order to get a better job. I would like, okay, en la segunda parte es la que vamos a mejorar. Repetime okay. la primera parte, la primera parte. I would like uh, to learn English. Stop, to learn English. stop. I would like to learn English. Continue, please. Because a better job. Be, okay. Better I job. would like to. I would like to learn English. Y en vez de poder, en vez de because le vamos a quitar. Fíjate. Le podemos poner. Mm -hmm. I would like to learn English in order to para yo poder. Miren, miren la mm -hmm. palabra, la oración que les mandé en el chat. In order to significa para poder. Por ejemplo, en el caso de Berito, para poder obtener un mejor trabajo, un mejor empleo. ¿Cómo se dice para poder tener un mejor trabajo o un mejor empleo? In order to get a better job. Teacher, ¿se puede decir position? Claro que sí. In order to get a better position at work. También se puede. So, Berito, repitámoslo. I would like to learn English. In order, because no. Ah, 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 ah. Quitarle el because. In order, in order to get a better okay. job. It's okay. Um, uh -huh. um, to travel. Quitarle el tú. Quitarle el tú. Quitarle el tú. In travel. On um, travel country. In travel. Country. Okay. Teacher, ¿cómo puedo decir y viajar al extranjero o a otro país? ¿Cómo lo podríamos decir, señores? Five, four, three, two. Ahí se los mando. Ten. And travel abroad. To, and travel. Ah, okay. And travel mm -hmm. abroad. Abroad. Exacto. Muy bien. So abroad. ¿Qué significa en para en vez de decir in travel to country? No, es, es muy espa españolizado para decir al extranjero and travel abroad. Ya se entiende que abroad es como y viajar al extranjero, ya sea Europa, Estados Unidos. Okay. Thank you, Berito. Camila Torres, are you ready? Yes, teacher. And then please, Gabriel, eh, Gabriela, perdón, Gabriela Deras. Wow, Gabriela, such a beautiful name. Okay, Cami, go ahead, please. I would like to learn English because it's help me in the future and get a job. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Cami, Gabriela, and then Giselle. Um, I would like to have one more child. Because I just, just? I just, uh-huh. Just have one. Wow, okay, Gabby, nice, excellent. Let's see, Hector, if you want to participate, Hector, let me know, me deja saber, okay? Okay, okay. Are you ready to participate? Okay. Nice, Mayrita, are you ready too? 
Let me know, Mayrita. Yes, yes, Perfect. Yes. Okay, Hector one, and Mayrita, you are the second one. Okay, Hector, go ahead, please. Okay, I would like to lose weight for help. <laughs> okay, me too. Yeah, I would like to, but I love, <laughs> my problem is I love pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Thank you so much, Hector, Mayrita, please. And then, Monica, Natalie, be ready. Good evening, teacher. Hello. I would like to travel to Nueva York. We would like to run. They would like house. Okay, finished? Finished. Ok, en la primera parte necesito una preposición. No se dice, lo mando al chat, no se dice okay. I would like, I would like to travel New York. Ahí necesito, mm -hmm. I would like to travel to, la teo. I would oh. like to travel to New York. New York. ¿Y cuál fue New la York. segunda parte? La segunda parte fue we would like runner. We, we would like y el runner, runner ¿Qué quiere decir caminar, en contexto? Y me nos... gustaría caminar. Ah, nos... pero ¿por qué me dice we? Porque we es nosotros. Ahí sería en I would like y I... me gustaría caminar. En oh. I would. En I would like. En I would like to walk. Ah, ok. Y le podemos agregar un adverbio de tiempo. En I would like to work there. Y me gustaría caminar ahí. I would like to work there. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Nati, are you ready, Nati? Yes, teacher. And then please be ready, Noeli. Okay, go ahead, please. I would like to ride mo motorcycle because it's most quick arrive for two places. Tau is a little bit dangerous. Okay, it's most quick. It is a quick, it is the it is one of the fastest. Porque llego más rápido, creo que te entendí. Yes, teacher. Cambiémosle. Y solo esa parte. Because it is one of the fastest. Fastest way to arrive. Lo mando al chat. Arrive. Ahí estoy. Porque es una de las formas más rápidas de llegar. A un lugar, todo eso, el arrive. It is one of the fastest way to arrive. Fastest. Me comí la T al final, the fastest. E -S -T. So, es una de las formas más rápidas. It is one of the fastest. Fastest. Es una de las formas más rápidas. It is one of the fastest way to arrive. Okay? You're welcome. Thank you. Let me see Noeli and then Robert. I would like to buy... Earphones because now it has lost things. Mm, again, please. I would like. I would like. Uh -huh, continue. I would like to buy earphones. I would like to buy. To buy earphones because now I have. Be, no. Ahí, ahí, aquí. Because no I have, no, está mal estructurado. ¿Qué queremos decir? Porque because, ahora me se perdido. Because I lost. Because I lost them. I lo, normal. I lost, y los, porque yo los perdí. I lost them. Ahí los en el chat. I would like to buy a new headphone, for example. I would like to have, uh, I would like to have, I would like to buy a new headphone because I love them. ¿Por qué los perdí? I lost them. Dice aquí, I got a message. Would like to, I would like to be home. I would like to be. I would like, primero el sujeto, Mayra. I would like to be at. Y la, pre, la preposición sería, I would like to be, ahí nos faltó la preposición. I would like to be at home. Me gustaría estar en casa. I would like to be at at home. Okay. Thank you, Mayrita. Thank you, Noeli. Details. Okay, Robert, and I'm going to conclude this dynamic with Sonia Valiente. Okay, teacher. I would like to travel to Greece to visit my sister. She is in Cardiza. 
Okay, thank you so much. Excellent, Sonia, please. Yes, teacher. I would like to work in a future as an English teacher in a kindergarten because I think it is an interesting and beautiful career. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Giselle, please tell me, you got a question? Teacher, yo no pasé a decirlo. I'm so sorry, Giselle. I'm so sorry. Please, go ahead. Um, I would like watch two series because they are very interesting. Okay, en la preposición, I would like to. I would I like to. to. Okay, yes. Excellent, thank you so much. Okay, guys, do you have any question or everything is clear like horchata? Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, so look at my screen. Voy a finalizar. Con este pequeño ejercicio lo vamos a hacer as a group. We are going to do it as a group. Look at the first sentences. Let's see. Alessandra, would you like to help me to read the first sentences? And please give us the correct complement. And then, Berito, be ready with the third one. And then I'm going to continue choosing randomly. Alessandra, please. Okay. Would you like to um, visit Grandpa? Okay, thank you. Let me see, Berito, would you like to help me to read the second one and give us the correct option? Would you, would you, like, would you like to to go to the cinema? Okay, thank you so much, Gabriela Deras. Would you like to help me to read the third one and give us the correct answer? Um, to get? Complete, complete sentence. Okay. Um, to do? No, but read complete, the, the complete, the full um, sentences. Thank you. Would you like to do the homework now? Okay, the homework now. Excellent. Thank you. Volunteer who wants to help me with the fourth one. Volunteer, five. Four. Thank you, Robert and Sonia. Be ready with the second one, with the fifth one. Okay, Robert, please. Thank you. Would you like to play tennis? Okay, perfect. Sonia? Would Tom like to eat it? Okay, thank you so much. Volunteer, eat please. Eat some sandwiches. Eat some sandwiches. Excellent. <laughs> Plural. Volunteer, please. Five. Four, three. Me, Thank you, Cami. Go ahead. Would you like, would they like to wait here? Okay, thank you. And the last one, volunteer. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see. Nobody, my goodness. This is, Giselle, thank you, Giselle. Go ahead. Mm. Like. Will Anna like to get? Okay, so now let's check it out. And we got 100%. Let me see, Hector, would you like to help me to read the examples, please? Thank you. Okay, uh, would you like to visit grandpa? Um, the next, would, you, would they like to go to the cinema today? Would you like to do the hunger now? Would you like to play tennis? Would you like to eat some sandwich? Would they like to wait here? And would um, like to get a ticket for a concert? All right, perfect. Thank you so much, mister. Now look at this one. Okay. Look at the structure. I'm gonna, con I'm gonna continue, excuse me. I'm gonna continue with this one. And then I have five questions about it. The questions are related with the topic, but maybe I won't have enough time to do the, all of them, but I will try to, for example, at least the, I, 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 at least two, yeah, por lo menos unas dos, but look, at, vamos a ver un previous. Let me see, Sonia, would you like to help me to read when I said a stop? But please, Sonia, read points, points once, okay? Go ahead. Okay, point one. 
useful to talk about unreal or unreal likely situation. If I were the president of my company, I will I will make a lot of change. Thank you so much. Changes. 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 Exactly. Changes. We okay. judge G, judge G. Changes. Thank you, my dearest. So unreal situation. What can be an unreal or a 50 possibility situation? I would like to be a president. Okay, I would like, but could be impossible. Maybe. Okay. Point number two. I would like to, could you please, Alessandra, point number two. If people. If people were more generous, there wouldn't be so much poverty, poverty, poverty in the world today. Okay, thank you so much. Let me see, Nati, would you like to help me to read point number three? Number three. Yeah. She would. She will travel around the world if she had more vacation time. Not. Continue. In this case. Not. In this case, world is often shortened. Shortened. Yes, shortened. Mm -hmm. Yes. Two. The exam example. Okay. If I were the president of my company, I make a lot, a lot of things. Excellent. Thank you so much. And you would like to make polite offers. For example, Robert, would you like to help me to read here? Okay, teacher. Here are some examples of using would you like to make polite offers. Example. Po, uh, point one, letter A. Would you like anything to drink? Uh, a soda would be great. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. And Camila, would you like to help me to conclude? Point two, letter C. Would you like to join up for dinner? I love to, but actually have other plans tonight. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay. Look at question number one and look at question number two. You are going to participate giving your opinion. Question number one, what would you do if you won the lottery? Question number two, what would you do if you had to move to a foreign, foreign country? Y obviamente yo los tengo aquí preparados unos ejemplos. Son diez preguntas, vamos a iniciar con las dos. Voy a leer mis ejemplos. Please try to be ready with your own examples. The question said, la pregunta dice, the question said, what would you do if you won the lottery? Possible answers. Example one, if I won the lottery. Example two, if I have the opportunity. Example number three, I would like definitely. Observe los primeros dos ejemplos. Cuando yo utilizo el F, significa como si yo ganara, como en el primer ejemplo. En el segundo, si yo tuviera la oportunidad. Entonces, el F, el F. So, if I won the lottery, I would like to... Y digo mi ejemplo, ¿qué es lo que yo haría? Estos son como ejemplos de cómo iniciar una respuesta. If I have the opportunity to win the lottery, I would like to. Trate de incluirme, por favor, el auxiliar que estamos viendo. El would like to. Y el último ejemplo. I would definitely. A mí definitivamente me gustaría hacer esto y esto con el dinero. So, let me see. Yo creo que tengo más ejemplos. Ah, excelente. Me encanta. Observe mi ejemplo. I would definitely. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Definitely. No es definitely. No, no. Es definitely. I will definitely start my own business. Maybe a big restaurant or I would like to invest. Hey, ¿qué significa el verbo invest? Bye. Invertir. Invertir. Invertir tiempo, invertir dinero, aplica para todo. Invertir. So, or I would like to invest. 
the money, no es money, no es money tampoco, es con A. I would like to invest the money and also go for a six months month trip. It's like a, and also go for a six month vacation around the world to reset or to reset my batteries. This is an expression. Resetear mi batería es una expresión. ¿Cómo decimos nosotros? Recargar. ¿Qué decimos nosotros en español? Recargar. Batería. Energías. Pila. Recargar ah. pilas. Recargar energía. ¿verdad? Entonces, pero esta es una expresión como decir, necesito descansar para yo poder estar listo para hacer esto. ¿Ok? So, to reset, to reset my batteries. To learn more about other cultures and people. And to think about the best use for the money. Okay, so guys, what time is it? 8.40. I will give you five minutes. Le voy a dar cinco minutitos. Preparen su speech de la pregunta uno. ¿Qué haría si usted ganara la lotería? Yo sé que muchos de ustedes me van a decir, I would definitely buy my house, a car. Eso es lo que dice toda la gente, pero es porque, dicha, pero es la realidad. Sí, pero en su caso, en su caso trate de practicar un poquito de, vocal, de vocabulario nuevo. Ya sé que quiere comprar una casa, ya sé que quiere cambiar el carro, ya sé que, o sea, ya sé que quiere viajar, pero trate de como, de inventar para enriquecer su vocabulario. Y obviamente, teacher, ¿cómo se dice esto? Aquí estoy disponible. Así que, señores, I will give you five minutes. Please, try to be ready and prepare your oral presentation. Teacher. Yes, please. How do you say enriquecer? Aquí te lo mando. Por ejemplo, mi vocabulario. For example, education. Ah. Ahí te, ahí te lo mando en el chat. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes, Berito. Esterilizar y castrar. Ok, te lo mando al chat. 
Thank you. Solo déjame, déjame, déjame chequear el spelling. Ya ahorita, ya ahorita te lo envío. Ok, ahí está. El primero es castrate y el segundo es sterilize. Sterilize. La primera pronunciación, castrate. 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 Y la segunda, sterilize, pero con Z. Tienes que hacer la pronunciación del zumbido. Sterilize. Okay. ok. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Ok, my dear is one minute. One minute left. I'm going to start with volunteers, ok? I'm going to start with volunteers. Okay, Robert, excellent. Okay, please, Robert, yes, it's time. Okay, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Perfect. And then, do we have volunteers who wants to be the second one? Fine. Sí, oh, excellent. I got Sonia, I got Berit. Okay, muy bien. Entonces, sí, definitivamente inicio con voluntarios. So, Robert, number one, Sonia, number two, Berito, number three. Okay, please, Robert, go ahead. Okay, the question is, what would you do if you won the lottery? My answer is, if I won the lottery, I would like to be able to help people who are truly in need. For example, nursing homes and children without parents. That's all. Excellent. Wait a minute. Real. Teacher, teacher, ¿qué fue la palabra que pronunció Robert? Truly. Un sinónimo de truly, de truly, perdón, real. Como real necessities. Ok. Excellent. Thank you, Robert. Berito, you, and teacher. then Sonia. You're welcome. Uh, what would you do if you won the lottery? I would like to buy food for the rest for puppies and cats of the street. Also, gastric and sterilized dogs and cats. Make a, make a garden at my home. Finish. Ok. ¿Cómo decimos perros o gatitos de la calle? Lo más común es decir street dogs, casi siempre. Pero cambiémosle. Ahí se los mandé en el chat. ¿Cómo se dice perritos o animales de la calle? Homeless. Homeless dogs o homeless cats. Y eso también aplica para las personas. Por ejemplo, las personas que no tienen su casita y que viven en la calle, también se les dice homeless. Pero en este caso sería homeless people. Ok. Thank you, Berito. Sonia, and then if I have volunteers, let me know. Sonia, go ahead, please. Ok. The question is, what would you, okay, what would you do if you won the lottery? The lottery? If I won the lottery, I would like to found many bilingual kindergartens in El Salvador to reach education system because in El Salvador they early take into account the English language in the kinder, in the kindergarten children. All right. Excellent. Finished? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Excellent. So, do I have volunteers or may I choose? Me, Alessandra, go ahead. Yes. And then Mayrita, perfect. Okay, Alessandra one, Mayra number two. 
Okay, if I won the lottery, I would like to travel around the world because I never go out the country. I would like to travel to Europe and visit some country with the digital experience of Van Gogh, its frustration. Also, I would like to invest in my own business and move on to another place of the country to get new customers. Okay, perfect. I would like to travel around the world. Me encanta. Pero ahora mejor digamos, I would like to travel abroad. Para que vayamos enriqueciendo el vocabulario. Me encanta. I would like to travel around the world, but this is the most common. So the second or my favorite option is, I would like to travel abroad. Para enriquecer, ¿verdad? El vocabulario. Thank you, my dearest. So, Mayra, go, go ahead. What should what what world you do if you won the lottery? If I won the lottery, I would buy my house and my car. Mm -hmm. I would start I do using it and and also her person. I how do do not I have to ask. For example, orphaned children and the el elderly. Elderly. Okay, finished? Finished. Solo cambiémosle. And also help person? No. And also mm -hmm. help people. People. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Mayrita. Volunteers, or may I choose? Five. Four. Thank you, Nati. Please, go ahead. I would like buy a farm to invest. Acordate, el infinitivo. I would like to buy. I would like to buy, permit me. I would like, <laughs> okay. I would like to buy a farm to invest in livestock, sell excellent meat to different restaurants, and I help mm -hmm. to the families poorer than me. <laughs> ah, me encantó. Eso, I would like to, I would like to have my own farm in order to sell good, good, okay, excellent meat. Excellent, thank you. I like your examples. Let's see, Noeli, go ahead. Your microphone, your microphone, my dearest. Excellent. Sorry. Um, if I want to the lottery, I would like to create, create a charitable foundation for underprivileged youth with academic excellence, um, scholarships to continue their university studies. I would like studies. I would also like to give back to my mother that she did for me. I would also like to create a biomedical equipment company. Um, finish. Okay, thank you. So, volunteer, please. Thank you, my dearest. Five, four, or may I choose? Who's missing? Okay, I'm going to start with students. Let me see. Camila, are you ready to give us your example? Yes, teacher. And then, please be ready, Giselle Mejia. The question is, what would you do if you won the lottery? If I won the lottery, I would like to help many people and animals. Also, I would like to buy new clothes, new phone, try new food, and to travel abroad with my family. Excellent, to travel abroad with my family. Hey, teacher, I have a question. Please. Eh, cuando yo dije try new food, podría decir en vez de food, gastronomic. Y sería tipo lo mismo. And trying, and trying a new gastronomy. Yes, could be gastronomy. new food okay. or, or gastronomy. Teacher, what's the difference between food and gastronomy? Food is general. Gastronomy is specific countries. For example, what do you prefer? Salvadorian gastronomy or Mexican gastronomy, specific. General food. My favorite food is, okay, it is it clear, my dearest? It is it clear, Yes, right? teacher. Excellent, thank you, nice. Giselle, please, and then please be ready, Hector Rivas. I think Hector is the last one, let me see, yes, I think you're the last one, okay. Okay, please, thank you, Giselle, go ahead. Yes. 
Uh, I would like not to spend all the money, but I... Ah, really me encanta. Want... Repetí esa parte. Escuchen el ejemplo de Giselle. I like it. The first I part. I would like not to spend all the money. All the money. But I will buy myself things that I have always went since I was little until now. Mm -hmm. Also try to different different drink countries or visit inter interesting place. I will also use it to help the puppies on the street donate to shelters okay. so they can maintain to their well carried puppies. Excelente. Solo repetime, ¿cómo dirías lugares interesantes? Uh, interesting place. Esa parte, repitamos, interesting. Interesting. Interesting places. Interesting places. Me encanta, muy bien, excelente trabajo. Ok, so Héctor, are you ready to give us your own? Ok. Perfect, go ahead. I'm going to conclude the class with your amazing presentation. Okay. Uh, what would you do if you won the lottery? Um, okay. I would like to travel to several countries and take photos about the cultural countries, okay. about the sports, about his today his day dailies. Uh, that's all. All right. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, my dinners. Good job, but not good. Excellent job. And obviously, it was a pleasure to having you in my class. So, guys, have a really good night. And please be ready for tomorrow. You are going to have our same class at 8 p.m. So, guys, no homeworks. And God bless you. Bye-bye, people. Thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.